Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, today we're gonna find out is this Amsoil 100% synthetic diesel oil good for Cummins engines, especially the 5W40. Many people prefer 15W40 because, well, that's because people what they used to use back back in the days when synthetic oils were not popular and were not available for diesel vehicles. Today, if you look everywhere, most of the places sell either full synthetic or 100% synthetic oil and most of the manufacturers are requiring to use some type of 100% or full synthetic oil, depending on the application. So, how can we know if this oil is good for commons or not? Well, you know what I mean, you can do research, you can go online, you can try it, and, and, and then you'll know if it's good or not. So. Well, it says on the bottle, it's a heavy-duty protection, four times more wear protection, which is nice. Okay. Well, let's look at the specs, and uh, I'm going to share lab results for this oil, and uh, you'll be able to see if it's a good choice or not, you know what I mean? So, if you look at the on MSL website, it says it delivers four times more wear protection. There's a good reviews. You can read. There's 4.9 stars. Minimizes oil consumption. Very interesting. Uh... Excels in extreme temperatures, helps keep the equipment operating at take performance, and offers outstanding value. And there is a note that it says how it was tested. So let's look at the details, scroll down, and see what we can, we can find more. So helps maximize equipment life. Interesting. Develop to provide protection beyond conventional synthetic blend and other synthetic oils. Interesting. Okay. Uh, what else can we see here? Viscosity control reduces oil consumption. Huh, interesting. Reduces oil consumption. Well, here is what the um, uh, API says. Requirement is okay for oil consumption. This is the maximum. This is what heavy duty is. It's like it's more than half better. And signature series is even way better, is even lower oil consumption. So the lab results, actually, this is the same company that the Cummins uses and some other big engine manufacturers. And if you want to know more about this, drop me a comment in the section. I'll do a separate video for those who love their equipment and want to do oil analysis and want to know more why I'm, I'm not using Blackstone, why I'm using same company that uses comments so as you can see based on this lab results the oil is still good between normal and abnormal it's on one uh this oil has been in the truck as you can see 2003 59 ram for 12 months this truck is used for either hauling heavy loads or pulling heavy loads it's automatic it's 5.9 stock uh no many mods except the uh, exhaust tip and i think the uh, yeah the muffler i think is bigger than exhaust tip which is adds no adds no power except adds more noise so how many miles on this well you can as you can see on the screen there's a mileage everything is there uh it's 2003 this person started using uh m soil not from the day one from 180,000, 190,000, somewhere in that range when he purchased the truck a few years ago. It was high mileage truck, was used with unknown history of maintenance, but it's beat up on outside, you know what I mean? Beat up on inside, but it runs. Original transmission, so must be, someone must be, you know, doing maintenance on it since it's lasted this long. And so in 5W40, many people think 5W40 is tutin oil. Well, without doing oil analysis, there is no way you can know if it's tutin or if it's tutin. Because oil analysis is the only way to find out. Because owner's manual says you can use 540, you can use 1540, depending based on your climate. So you can read the note on your own if you want to. I'm not going to get into the note. It says that it's uh, magnesium slightly low. And, uh, well, let me zoom in and we'll go section by section. But it's a common question that, again, can I use MSOL in a high mileage older vehicle? 
This guy didn't even ask me about that. He just, because he uses on his other vehicles, he has another uh, car diesel that he uses, uh, newer than 2003. He uses M soil and he's like, well, it works well for my newer cars, diesel and gas. Why can't it work well for my diesel truck? Now up close, I'm going to show you all the details as possible. Iron. That's great. 30 parts per million for iron for 12 months, towing and hauling. It's not a daily driver. That's outstanding. I have never seen for older comments or any diesel that's used for the use that's working hard for in 12 months, 10,000 miles. Here's a uh, loop information 10,000 miles and the unit was it's uh, now Yes, when it's simple was pulled it had 2007,000 200 or oh, not 2000 207,000 on a truck original engine original transmission Yes, this guy is when he bought it. He switched everything to M soil including his uh, rear differential It's a rear-wheel drive truck. So Iron Tory is excellent. Chrome, nickel, merva, aluminum, only four parts per million. That's an outstanding copper. Same thing, four parts per million. That's when it's zero to five, is considered, it's considered zero wear. So with those numbers, if it continues to use 12 months, 10,000, this truck will run for two, two million, three million, four million miles. It will just, will never wear out. That's just how... How nice, how nicely those oil protects engine from wear. Contaminants, silicone, that's on the low side. Uh, Multi-source metals and additive metals. These are additives, different metals that they add. As you can see magnesium, the same magnesium is, is low for this oil. And it, the reason why it might be low, because who knows how clean is the engine, maybe got contaminated. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how hot this truck is running, how hot he's using, you know what I mean? So this is something unknown. I know that he uses, you know, when it's used, it's used for hauling or towing, heavy stuff. We're talking about stuff that usually people would not tow with the older trucks. They would leave it to newer trucks. But this guy using it, you know what I mean? He loves the power of a diesel, you know, even though it's 2003, it doesn't have the power the newer ones have. But still, you know, it's, it's a nice, powerful engine, simple engine. So... Fuel dilution, less than 2%. Great suit. That's great. I will be curious to find out how bad it is with uh, uh, the with with emission system. You know what I mean? Suit. Uh, on engine. You know what I mean? Is there more suit? I mean, water, less than less than 0.1. Suit, less than 0.1. That's great. Viscosity. Wow. Viscosity is still good. That's great. You know what I mean? So 12 months later, 10,000 miles, and the viscosity have not changed much base is good number still good oxidation still good nitration still good so as you can see based on the results this oil did excellent job is it worth using it in the comments well this guy decided to use it and you're not going to change his mind drop me a comment in the comment section if you use this oil or what oil are you using in your comments have you done an oil analysis? You, you might say, well, I never had a problem, but here's the thing. Have you done oil analysis? Have you done an oil analysis to, to, con, to back it up your statement that you never had a problem? You know what I mean? You, you can have a problem without knowing it. It's like a cancer. You're not going to know that you have a cancer until it's too late, until you do a, a blood work. Same thing with the engine. You can say there is no problems, until you do oil analysis. Then you'll be like, what? I was not expecting this or that. I didn't know this. Well, that's something to consider. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to share this video with others.